Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we've got Anna in the studio and we're gonna do some recreating of the light. So this is just how Peter like approaches lighting and show you how he's going to, yeah, like make this photo. <laughs> what? Make this photo. Oh, okay, I'll do it again. No, that's right. I'll no. just make the photo. No. Yes, that's right, I'll make it. <laughs> So one of the best ways to learn lighting is to try and copy somebody else's lighting and try and get it as close as you can. And then once you're finished doing that, then you make it your own shot. Uh, because lighting's just lighting. So I've got a picture here that Anna's picked out of Candace, and it looks quite a simple picture, but there's a little bit in this to get it close to that. So the couple of things I'm, the first thing I notice, uh, it looks like there's a big, soft box or octobox off to one side of her eye. Just that means it's off a fair way to one side because with the eye being curved, it means you have to move something a long way to get the reflection out onto the curve. Uh, this is feeling a, sh a fairly shallow depth of field. So I'm got sort of thinking 5.6 and it does, even though it's got that, it does have this really natural feel. So. I'm just going to, I'm starting at 400 ISO to use a bit of the ambient light, use the flash to control the shadows on Anna's face and you're just gonna see me play and I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with the background yet, but I've got a spare light sitting aside. My gut feeling was just to go, I've just gone with the big umbrella um, and that was just my gut feeling to start with and I'll just work from here. So if I just get Anna in, we haven't taken a shot as yet. Do you want to jump in there about, come across and start coming out. Keep coming, keep coming. Why I'm bringing her a fair way off the wall is I don't want this light to be creating a shadow within my shot. And I am going to turn, so the power of the light, hopefully it's going to be hitting the wall. Cool. And I'm just going to build from here. So first thing I know, I'm cooking like crazy. That's good. I can turn the power down. And there's shadows sitting down here, which is good. So if I move the light out a little bit further, that'll completely go out of shot. So I was on 6.7 on the light. All right. So I brought the power back to five, uh, 4.5, which is a fair bit. I'm looking at the Rembrandt. Their shirt's definitely gone off more than the wall, so I'm reasonably close. I would like the wall a little bit brighter than that. The fall off across the face is reasonably close. The catch light in the eye is actually looking heaps bigger. No, oh, it's reasonable. All right, so to increase the catch light in the eye and get more light on the back, I'm gonna tilt the light towards the back more. That's not gonna, that's gonna increase the power on the back wall. That's right, I'm just gonna play and see what I can get. And I'm turning the light, pa yeah, see the catch light's looking much bigger now. Well, I've only got one channel on 255 there, so we can also get away with that. Let's try turning it out even more. Throw more of that power into the background. All right, um, my gut feeling is to lift the light a little bit and tilt the light a little bit. I might just lift it up a fraction higher. So what? why I'm doing this is I wanna turn down the light on Anna's shirt, but keep the power on the background. It's looking better. The other one is definitely blown out a lot on the shirt. So I can, I think I'm gonna work with that. I'm gonna get closer with my camera. Take it to black and white. All right, so if I lock my whites in and bring up the skin tones. So just by me putting that pin in, I can just stop my whites going over, but bring up the skin tones of Anna Moore. And I can pull a little bit of the blacks back in. Well, that was quite, I know she's got black blacks in there. I might bring a bit more shadow fill in that then I can get my blacks a bit blacker. I brought my blacks up to get the blacks where I want, but the, the mids I still want lighter. So that's getting much nicer. So that way I've got that sort of contrast in that bottom end to make my blacks black. I've now got nice soft mid-tones in there. All right, so I'm just gonna come in and now crop this to where I want. And I'm looking for where Anna's standing so she doesn't move on me. I'm happy with that. Anna's gotta get us a hero shot. So I might just try this and we've got another outfit to try and see which one gets me the better look. 
I want nice drifting. I want. Cool. It's really cool. Now Anna's gone into pose mode and I want her in power mode. Right, can you see that's her standing with attitude? That's you just, you don't walk around like this, do you? Right, so I want you to get more into, yeah, that sort of feel of that picture. Not though, well, we're copying a little bit, but it's gonna look different because it's you. Um, that little, have you got a brow on? Yeah. All right, can we bring that down further? I wanna get cleavage. That's cool. That? I think so, yeah, cool. Cool. Yep, fine. It don't try and go too tough, just mm -hmm. don't, I don't want this. Okay. I want more you natural. So I don't mind this, but once you come up here, that's not natural. That's cool, that's cool, that's cool. Cool. Yeah, nice, that's better, that's much better. Work those eyes. Cool, cool. Bang, cool. Oh, these are getting looking better. These are looking much better. Yeah, I, I really like it. So it's now, we've got to create a thumbnail now. That's cool. Nice, I like that attitude. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you get a completely different look when you do that. It makes you strong and powerful without your jaw tightening up. That's really cool. Beautiful, beautiful. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Cool. So once I get lighting right, all I'm doing now is just trying to get that shot that I'm looking for. These are much better. And I'd rather spend five extra minutes shooting. Beautiful, beautiful. That's really pretty, that's really pretty. Cool, beautiful, beautiful. Beautiful. We might just try that other the other dress. All right. All right. Cool. So this will give me a little bit more headroom with my lighting because what she's wearing is not pure white, although it's still going quite bright. Just going to bring in a black V flat to add a little bit more contrast into this shot. Well, I think I like that. But you'll see definitely we're getting, you'll see that darkness that we're getting on this side. You'll see on all the, the white that we're getting a darker area, which is caused by that black board. And I'm actually really, really liking that. You comfy in that? Yeah. Go, what's your thought? Cool, cool. Don't come in too far. Cool, beautiful, beautiful. Bring that side, nice, nice. Nice. What's this like without the belts? Is it too floppy? Oh, it's looking really cool. I'm liking that a lot better. That's cool. That's really cool. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah, just by taking the belt off, and clipping the back. It's given a really nice shape to the dress. Yeah, see that was tenty. I don't know, that just feels like Sunday school girl. It feels too prim and proper for the look I want. That's got much more attitude. Cool. I like that. Eyes, cool. And not, oh, it's really nice. When you come up onto that toe, cool. Cool, that's really pretty. That's really pretty. Nice, nice. Yeah, I like how heaps better. Well, we hope you guys enjoyed that. And if you did enjoy that, I will throw up some other videos of Anna and Peter working together now.